tunaambiwa utakuwa unalipa kupupu town shilling kumi pia ukienda kwa nyumba ameintroduce kitu ambaye inaitwa sewage tax ambapo sisi kama wenye Mungu ametubariki kidogo unatumia ile choo ya nyumba ukiflash hivi pop wanakata tax sasa tunauliza rais tulipe shilling kumi town E, kujisaidia twende kwa nyumba nyumba yako tena unalipa shilingi kumi ama sijui itakuwa tax ya shilingi ngapi kujisaidia tukiona hii trend our government wana nayo these people when they will tax in holy communion na ile tumepewa na Mungu because there's too much of a borrowing because wame borrow paka wameshindwa hii pesa wakulipa watapata wapi it's high time we go back to our tradition we introduce the barter trade sasa hawa wa china wakitaka kutengeneza barabara yetu na wapelekea avocado kama 1000 gonia na ukuje na cement so that if if that can help let be it because there's too much borrowing bro we fail to understand it seems the only person who is putting on weight it is only the guys in state house he is now fat you'd think he is he has swallowed a zebra and the kenyans are growing thin and thinner we cannot continue this way i go eat of it at nikai hivi vile nilivyo na konda nazelea kukonda una at sasa mimi nimenonea ndani na wengine wananona huku nje unaweza dhani wamemeza pundamlia haiwezekani The Kenya national budget for the year 2021-2022 has been read by the CS for Finance. It is clear that for every 100 shillings collected, 66 shillings goes towards servicing the debts. What exactly do Kenyans think about the current state of affairs and of course the ballooning public debt? Come, let's find out. yako ni yapi labda kuhusiana na budget ya jana e, jambo ambalo zimenishangaza kwa rais mwenzangu ni kwamba hata saa hii tunaambiwa utakuwa unalipa kupupu town shilling kumi pia ukienda kwa nyumba ameintroduce kitu ambaye inaitwa sewage tax ambapo sisi kama wenye Mungu ametubariki kidogo unatumia ile choo ya nyumba ukiflash hivi pop wanakata tax sasa tunauliza rais tulipe shilling kumi town E, kujisaidia twende kwa nyumba nyumba yako tena unalipa shilingi kumi ama sijui itakuwa tax ya shilingi ngapi kujisaidia wananchi wamepoteza makazi hivi vifo mingi ambayo unaona na wananchi wanajiua bwana rais ni juu ya shida sasa tena saa hii bado wananchi ndo wanajaribu economy ifufuke ndio hizo matax bwana rais unataka twende Somalia Unataka vijana waingie alshabab tena? Maoni yako ni yapi kuhusiana na yesterday's budget? Yeah, so far I'm so disappointed man because uh, kuna kitu wanasemanga the dancing of a madman is only entertaining in a market when it's not your cousin. Whatever the government is doing to us is kusema kweli ni uchungu sana na wakenya wanaumia sana. We don't know whether we borrow international system whereby cannot sustain our lifestyle because kila saa unasikia government una borrow money ku, ku, take, ku do development and sometimes okay though, though, though kuna development kidogo but if you cannot sustain that kind of development why do you go for those things tukiona hii trend our government wana nayo these people when they will tax in the holy communion na ile tumepewa na Mungu because there's too much of a borrowing because wame borrow paka wameshindwa hii pesa wakulipa watapata wapi utakuwa ukioa unalipa ukinini kula holy communion unalipa ukisinis down utakuwa una pay tax I've never seen such a ghostly budget like the one we have seen in uh, in, in in this uh, budget reading that we have just uh, had uh, we had yesterday. Um, it came to strangle the common man and uh, give a life a lifeline to the to the to the to the mighty and powerful. We cannot continue with this business of one person running the show and where the money is taking us. We cannot know. It became it was vision 2030 it has become vision 3020 we do not know when it will be realized we do not who will, we do not, not know who will realize this, this dream but what you can only see is that our young people were promised they are talking about tvets going to add uh, loans where is this money going to come from so all these things are promises that are not going to be realized so in my opinion i say that let us live in reality let us create a budget that is workable a wide budget that is within our means so that we don't beg because the aspect of begging is going to make us get recolonized because whoever has given you the money will now begin setting terms and conditions 
the ordinary personnel has been hurt because of the, 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 the I mean the, the CS did not consider about the fuel prices. You know, and when when the fuel prices high, everything definitely goes high. You know, when uh, the fuel price price goes up, transportation goes up, uh, cooking, cooking oil, cost of production, and also even the electricity bills were definitely going to skyrocket. Mainly, skiza vizuri sana, lakini meku nipendeza. Manake, pesa mingi zinakopwa, atuoni maendeleo hizo pesa, mayuto nateseka kukuhunje. Wako tu yaani, wanateseka sana. Kama wea unateseka vipi? Wajua, kazi sahi kupata youth ni ngumu sana. Nandomana unasikia, watu wengi wanaiba, wanafanya suicide. Wengine wanaya teseka sana, manaki ya wana pesa. Inabidi sasa wakaibe, ndo wapata hizo pesa. Sinja mbo raisi mbanjet kuongezwa, iliali kuna watoto wanafaa kuenda shule, pado yu maisha ni ngumu, si wazazi wote wana uwezo sawa, kuna wengine wakiwango ya chini, wengine juu, lakini wote tunafaa kuwekwa sawa na mbanjet ikisomo. Kwangu mimi, kuomba tu ipunguzwe ndo kila mtu wa ndumu maisha yake. Lazima wale watu wa mfanya mikakati ya kuangalia budget yetu ya Jamhuri ya Kenya waweze kuangalia maswala ambayo yanaangalia mwananchi wa chini. Ni kwa sababu kwa kweli kama wamekuja kuguza gas ambayo inatumiwa na mtu ya chini, hii imekuja kuumiza watu sana. Mambo ya mkate imekuja kuumiza watu sana. Pande wa pikipiki angalia hata vijana saa hizi wale ambao wana, wana, wana tunaimpoti hizi pikipiki zinakuja. Ni pikipi gani itakuwa chini ya 8,000 kama siwe ya second? Hai, kusema kuweka hiyo ushuru inamanisha baka watu wataumia na masora mengine ya taenda vibaya. We hear that uh, in every uh, hundred bob that I earn, eh? <laughs> almost uh, three quarters of that money goes into pain in Chinese. No, it's worrisome, it's worrisome. And we are afraid that this country might uh, not be added to the right position yeah the cs made a clear pronouncement that uh, the tax levies kenyans need to brace themselves because they are going a notch higher what do you make of the same mm -hmm. um, literally almost three quarters of the country are people that are um, unemployed unemployed actually the people that are on a salary skill in the country are less than a quarter of the total population. What is your call to the president? Uh, definitely, we are worried about his rate of borrowing. So we urge him, if there is any other way that he can outsource uh, funds to run this country, we are quite begging, begging him to just use those ways, because <laughs> it's, it's worrisome, it's worrisome. Kwangu mimi, ni kuomba raisi tu wafunguze mbanjet, Kwa sababu unasunguka sana, unauza maandizi, hata ngarama ya maisha imeanza kuwa ngumu sana. If you can't play ball, there is always a, a substitute. We get someone from outside to come and play ball on your behalf because it seems the only person who is putting on weight, it is only the guys in state house. He is now fat, you'd think he, is, he has swallowed a zebra. And the Kenyans are growing thinner and thinner. We cannot continue this way. I go eat a fight at Nikai Hivi Vida and live on a condo, Nezere Kukondo, at Tisasa Mimi Menone and Dani. Now when you know, and no, no, Quinja, Unezadan, when we mess up on the Maria, I is a canny. Lazima to Tafuta Mafaka Quendres and Chimbele. Nakama to Tapata Mafaka in a you. To Mesema Hivi, what an Atukai Kulu? Kuna what when you use the F, what when you go, what when you had, what when you on a Jew or Kulat Nakotaka Pelekanchi, Wakujo in Gay Kulu, to Badish Inch. Mineza Momba at after youth Kazi. Kama nizo pesa, wangalia mali, youth wana za saidika in short. Eh, youth, na mi naombea tu youth wa zaidike tu peke yake. Manake mi ni youth, sina kazi, niko tu. Kama government wa meshindwa, na hii because it's high time we go back to our tradition. We introduce the butter trade. Sasa hawa China wakitaka kutengeneza barabara yetu, na wapeleke avocado kama 1,000 gunia, na wakuji na cement. So that, if, if that can help, let be it, because... There's too much borrowing, bro. We fail to understand.